क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज लास्ट ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल सिग्नल्स नाव in the first chapter that is in the representation of signal which is our first chapter in that chapter we have studied a different types of exponential signal which is a positively or you can say rising exponential and a decaying exponential in both the cases my amplitude was positive you can take the negative amplitude also means a simply multiply that function by minus 1 that's it the, the resultant will give such amplitude which is in third quarter and on fourth quarter Right now, I just want to calculate a Laplace transform of exponential wave. Now, as I told you in previous videos, also we are going to consider only a causal signal, that is a right-handed signal. So here also, I have placed a exponential signal, but only a right-handed signal. Now, there are many ways to represent or express the right-handed signal. Now, right now, my function is exponential. That is, look at here. I have taken a rising exponential wave. if the amplitude of power of exponential signal is positive if the power of exponential signal is positive then of course it is a rising exponential but if the power of exponential is negative then it is a decaying exponential and this thing i have told you in the first chapter also now the next much more important i have multiplied this e to the power 80 by unit step reason is unit step is always a causal signal that's why a e to the power 80 is multiplied with u of t now if i don't want to multiply this e to the power 80 with u of t then what you are going to do how will you express this exponential function for a right handed side signal then the another way is also there the simply you can write e to the power 80 is available only when t is greater than equals to 0 and its amplitude is 0 when t is less than 0 that's it so using this way also you can express the function for a right handed signal also so these are the ways to represent that function for right in a right handed signal or in a left handed signal now look at here now i have written the equation for this right handed side exponential signal which is e to the power 80 u of t which varies from t is greater than equal to 0 if i am not going to write u of t then also it is fine it will nothing it will be looks like this now and for our left look at your left hand side in left hand side the exponential function is having amplitude 0 so that's why i have written t is less than 0 this amplitude is 0 now we are going to solve or we are going to apply laplace transform now look at here we have studied a definition of laplace transform what is much more important is here we have here the x of t is the exponential signal you can solve this exponential signal laplace transform in two ways you can directly apply the frequency shifting property over here otherwise simply apply a laplace transform use the basic concepts of exponential signal and that's just integrate it i'm using in this video we are going to use the basic concept now i'm not going to use a frequency shifting property or any type of property in this solution just keep it as simple we'll solve this derivations or we'll solve this equations let's see how the integration is going to be solved now the x of t is exponential signal and it is available from 0 to infinity that's why i'm going to change the value of integration from 0 to infinity because it is multiplied by unit step and it is only available from t is greater than equals to 0 having amplitude 1 now so that's why i'm going to i have substituted the time period value from 0 to infinity and in that period the amplitude is 1 so no need to write a value 1 over here because 1 into exponential answer is always exponential but much more important is next step here we have exponential terms so you can say that if the bases are same then you can add the powers but before adding this power i am going to call, take a common a minus t from both the terms first of all you can simply add these two terms if the bases are same then you can add these terms how you are going to add let's see i'll show you
this is how we are going we can add these functions but if i take minus t common so this mine if i take minus t common this else becomes plus but this a will become minus so that's why i have written a to the power minus t inside this bracket we have s minus a now what i'm going to do we are going to integrate this function with respect to time t so if we are going to integrate this function with respect to time t then s minus a is constant term now e to the power variable into constant integration of e to the power variable into constant outcome of this integration is exponential term upon its variable the exponential term upon its variable so with this sign i have to take so e to the power minus t s minus a is the term where the constant term is minus of s minus a will be in the division or you can say in a denominator now simply substitute the values of limit because now where we are going to substitute the this exponential function actually integrated with respect to time t so at the place of t we are going to substitute the values of this limit now if i substitute the limit then first of all upper limit will be substituted first minus then lower limit now where we are going to substitute the values of limits in the place of t so t is replaced by infinity so infinity is multiplied by anything is as ways infinity now next value was zero if i substitute zero in the place of t then product becomes zero so that's why in the power we have zero now e to the power minus infinity as i told you in the previous videos also e to the power minus infinity is always zero e to the power plus infinity is always the infinity and e to the power zero is always one so e to the power minus infinity is zero whereas e to the power zero is one now we have minus one and here we have minus s by a one upon s by a. so minus minus gets cancel answer is x of s is equals to one upon s minus a you can prove this using a frequency shifting property also now in frequency shifting property a laplace transform e to the power minus a t is always one upon s minus a your frequency term that is s will be changed if we have e to the power plus a t now look at here if we have e to the power plus a t then your s is delayed by a if we have e to the power minus a t then your x s is delayed by plus a. i'll repeat if we have e to the power plus a t this is the value which will delay the frequency so let's say a is positive till right now my a value is positive if the a value is positive then frequency will be advanced if a value is negative then the frequency will be delayed so as here in the derivation i have considered a rising exponential term with a positive amplitude as here the amplitude is positive so in resultant also you will get a positive amplitude if i consider a negative amplitude negative means just simply multiply by plus or minus one if you multiply plus or minus one with exponential term then of course you will get a positive amplitude or else a negative amplitude means your graph will be in a first quadrant or else in a third quadrant now so if we multiply it by plus or minus one then your graph will be in the first quadrant or in fourth quadrant but the graph will remain same it will be increasing towards the infinity now look at here if we have a plus a in the power of exponential term then frequency is advanced if we have a minus power then frequency will be delayed so you can prove this using two ways either use a simple way of integration or else you can take the help of a frequency shifting property of laplace transform so this is how we can solve the laplace transform exponential wave so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much